Just a few weeks back, this camp in Ayin, local local government area of Benue State, was home to over 34,000 internally displaced persons. But at the moment, there are about 7,000 inhabitants. This follows the return of 27,000 of them to their villages in Abande and Swarev. There is a semblance of life as they knew it before they fled violent attacks by armed herdsmen. The residents attribute the calm atmosphere to the presence of troops of Operation World Stroke. There is a tremendous level of peace we are experiencing in this place. That is why we can see them. In those days, before the coming of the Operation World Stroke, even though they are here under protection, you cannot see their faces smiling. This load has become a dead trap for us. So all of us, we were not here, but through your effort, we were, we were back. The sector commander of Operation World Stroke in Logo and Awashua Axis highlights the challenges his team faced six months ago when they were deployed to secure the area. We deployed here uh, early, early May. When we were coming towards this road, we could not sight anybody in this road down to where our, my camp is, just ahead of us. The estimated population here, to what I gathered, was about 1,500 people in this camp. And to my understanding, the, the chief, which is not feeling fine now, he admitted that almost all his people are back to this town. Given pockets of attacks still witnessed in Logo, Guma, and Gwei West, the operations commander assures citizens of their safety. So far, we have we have got about 20 what? About 27,000 have gone. 7,000 remaining. Yes. I can say it with confidence that before December, the remaining 7,000 will go back to their homes and get back to doing their normal life. Although some of the IDPs are unable to return to their homes due to insecurity, especially in River Rhine border communities, the majority of them are said to be staying back because of resettlement challenges.